Okay, so for um, verse of devotion today, it's coming out of Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 through 24. And normally I wouldn't go over something like this, but um, once again, I'm just listening to the Holy Spirit and doing what he says. Um, the reality is some of you are not going to like this. You're not going to want to hear this, but that's just too bad. I'm not here to tickle your ears. I'm here to tell you the truth. And when the Holy Spirit speaks to me and says, Sarah, this is what I want you to do, I always want to be obedient. So I'm asking you to listen, um, to pay attention, and to do what the Word says here. Okay, so the verses from Ephesians 5, through 24 have to do with wives submitting to their husbands. And it doesn't mean that we have to bow down and kiss their ring. I'm not getting, it's not talking about that, but it's about respecting your husband, okay? Um, in just a minute, I'll go into a little bit more of it, but verse 22 says, Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. Because technically, your husband is under God, okay? So there's God first then your husband, then you, then your kiddos, okay? So what we're supposed to do as wives is we're supposed to submit to our husbands because the, the proper order of things is that he is supposed to submit to God, all right? Does that make sense? So it says, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the Savior, now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Um, Mark and I have been married for 20 years, and I <laughs> bless him. He's put up with me for that long and vice versa. But when we first got married, um, I didn't know this stuff. I didn't understand how to truly properly respect him. And um, I just started, you know, there were a series of events that happened and I just started praying. I'm like, Lord, help me to love him properly the way that I'm supposed to and to submit to him properly. And you, when you read these verses, I mean, it's, it's not a suggestion. It's, you know, the Bible says to do it. So God says to do it. And so I was praying and you know, it didn't happen overnight, but within six months to a year, I started to notice a change. Not so much even in him, but for me. Um, we as wives in a marital situation, um, I hear so many people gripe about their husbands and they don't like this or they don't like that. I get it. You know, we're humans, we're imperfect. But when we, my point is, because I know I'm, bleh, this is such a sensitive subject, I think. But it's really not because it's what God says to do. We as wives have got to pray for our husbands. And you say, well, I do pray for him. Okay, fine. But are you praying specifically? Are you praying, I mean, getting down to the nitty gritty of it all? I mean, you know him better than anybody else other than his mother or his father. And if you're not praying for him like your life depended on it, then no offense, you're, you're asking for it because he needs to be up here with God spiritually in order for him to lead you, okay? Um, plus, he has tons of spiritual warfare going on that you have no clue, okay? Men are totally different ballparks than women, and the enemy knows how to attack them and mess with them. And we as wives, if we're going to be good, godly wives, we have got to pray for our husbands. And we've got to go to battle for them every day. You battle for your kids, you got to battle for your husbands as well. Go to the battlefield and pray for him every day. And I don't mean just, oh, God, touch my husband, help him today. I mean pray specifically. If there's areas in his life that you know that he needs work or God needs to work on him, then pray. Pinpoint those areas and tell, Lord, touch this, move this, rebuke that, stop this, put power in him in this way. That's what I'm getting at, okay? That's what we have got to do for our husbands. We've got to pray for them. And then let me tell you, it makes it a whole lot easier to submit because you know 
that God's doing a work in them. And he's also doing a work in you because you're praying for him and holding him up in prayer every day. Every day. Cannot take a break because the enemy doesn't take a break. Okay? Let me pray and then I'll quit. Lord, oh, this is imperative that we lift our husbands up to you. God, they are the head of the home. Point blank. And if they aren't right with you, then the rest of the family isn't right with you. Lord, I speak life and joy and spiritual goodness over the men and husbands of this country. In Jesus' name, God, help us as wives to, to pray for them every day and to pray sincerely with sincere hearts over them. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Go pray for your husband and don't stop. <laughs>